On 12 April 2016, the Break to Starshot project was announced. Its goal is to send a fleet of nanoprobes to the nearest other solar system. For most of my audience and myself, this will mean we will get to see actual close-up images from another solar system within our lifetime. The star in question is the nearest star to our sun, the third component of the trinary star system Alpha Century, Proxima Centauri. But with current space propulsion technology, a journey to Proxima Century would take tens to hundreds of millennia. The fastest spacecraft ever, the Helios, went just over 70 kilometers per second. Even at such incredible speeds, it would take over 4,000 years to reach Proxima. 4,000 years ago, human civilization was barely getting started. Over the last decade, technology has gotten smaller. Our transistors are now measuring in the nanometers, and molecular engineering is just at our doorstep. Smaller, less massive probes could be accelerated to a significant fraction of the light speed. The Starshot project is confident they can accelerate a fleet of small probes up to 15% of the speed of light, or 45,000 kilometers per second. At this speed, the journey would take roughly 20 years. The main motivation behind the project is to prove it's feasible to send spacecraft to other stars within a generation. And in that, it isn't the first. One of the first was Project Diodalus, which started in 1973. Diodalus was aiming to send a nuclear fusion-powered spacecraft to Barnard Star, 5.9 light years away, which was at the time believed to be the most promising candidate for exoplanets. Next up in 1987 was Project Longshot, which aimed to use a nuclear fission drive to reach Alpha Century, 4.4 light years from Earth. All these projects were cancelled due to technical limitations of the time. Starshot already stands out from the other projects for not using any form of nuclear energy source. Instead, Starshot will be using photon sailing. Photons are the carrier particles of the electromagnetic force. As massless particles, photons are only able to move at the speed of light. This means they carry lots of kinetic energy, which they can transfer to an object such as a spacecraft upon collision. If one were to place a gigantic mirror in space facing the sun, the photons would hit it and transfer kinetic energy to the mirror. This would eventually build up and could theoretically accelerate the mirror up to near light speed. This method is called solar sailing and lays the basics of the Starshot's propulsion method. The sun provides unfocused light beams, but if one were to concentrate a light beam, let's say a laser on the sail, the spacecraft could accelerate to the same speed in a much shorter time period. Even better would be a super laser, a field of lasers combining into one beam, a bit like the Death Star's lasers combining to create one massive beam. If this were successful, the spacecraft could accelerate to 60,000 kilometers per second in a few minutes. This is why they are so confident they can achieve speeds much greater than any spacecraft before. So say the mission were to go according to plan. Starshot could launch by 2036. The following journey to the Alpha Century system would take roughly 20 years. And to transmit the data back to Earth, you must factor in an additional 5 years. Meaning it will be 2060 by the time we get to see the first actual close-ups of another solar system. The system it's going to visit is Proxima Centauri. It has been confirmed to contain at least one exoplanet. Proxima Centauri Bay is an exoplanet within the habitable zone of the star. It is however on the cold side and expected temperatures are around 40 degrees below. Proxima Centauri B orbits the star at a distance of roughly 0.05 astronomical units, with an orbital period of approximately 11.2 Earth days, and has an estimated mass of at least 1.3 times that of the Earth. Its habitability has not been established, though it's unlikely to be habitable since the planet is subject to stellar wind pressures more than 2,000 times those experienced on Earth. Important to address with projects such as these is that by 2036 we will likely have much more advanced technology. Artificial intelligence will have advanced close to human brain power. Quantum computers will be common household features. Robots will be widely used too. And nanotechnology will have been outdated by emerging femtotechnology. By 2036 a robotic mission to further start such as Epsilon Eridani or Gliese 581 will be feasible. We can reasonably assume that we will have pictures of other solar systems available by 2040. Either due to advancing space travel or advancing telescopes. This doesn't overshadow the huge courage and ambition of the Starshot Initiative project, however. And that was about all for this time. See you guys next time.